In this video, you will learn how to align this uh, inner domain with the outer domain because when you want to run the simulation, so these two parts should be on the same location. And this is a basically this outer domain which I created uh, here. So if I show you all these geometries, so this is the whole geometry here. And uh, here, if I display as a transparent, you can see this is the whole domain with the outer boundaries and this domain will be rotating and this domain would be the uh, station domain and uh, this domain will be inside over here. So, so to create the mesh and then to run simulation in Fluenda CFX, we should have the geometry aligned to each other. Now that there are two steps, number one is that, number one is that from the design menu, select this whole body and uh, then after that move this geometry slightly upward side so that we can use the commands in the assembly menu successfully. So just make a random quick type of the movement of this geometry so that, that this should be on the top side. That's the only requirement here in this way. So this geometry should at least cross the 90 degrees. So if I make the angle with, with that direction now this is the less than the 90 degrees angle here. So it should be from this side, this, this angle, it should be on the upward side. So now since we have done this thing, now next thing is that we should go to the assembly menu. And uh, from assembly menu, we have the two options. Either we can use the first engine command or the orient command. The problem is that with the orient command, this will only orient this geometry if I select this surface and this surface here. Okay, so this is the extra surface here, so I should hide this one. So right click on the surface and then face and hide face. Okay, so in the in the case of the orient, if I choose this geometry and then this geometry, this will simply align them. This will simply make the same view. So now in order to make this geometry just on this part, I have to use the two more commands. And But if I start with the tangent command in the beginning, so let me show you. Tangent command, first this select this geometry and then the reference. And this will align in the same line, in the same line. And next I will use the align command and this I will choose the geometry here. And then the axis here. And this will simply align the geometry with each other. So, align one minute. So, I delete this condition first and uh, align command. So, it's axis and the axis over here. So now they will be aligned, they will be exactly on the same location. So if I undo this command and uh, if I use the command uh, orient first, so the, now I will have to apply the three commands. So orient, again I have to choose the, this upper surface let's say. And uh, upper surface and upper surface over here. So this will just make the geometry aligned, means that the orientation will be same, the orient command but they will not be on the same level as we used in the tangent command. Now next thing is that I will be using the tangent command and before that I would be using the align command. So again these axis and axis over here. So now they will be on the same orientations on the same alignment but they are still they are at the some distance from each other. So now I will use the tangent command and uh, I will choose the geometry on the top surface and then the surface over here. And now this will be done. So instead of two commands, now this process is completed in the three commands here. So now it's your choice that the, in some scenarios, maybe you have to use the orient command first, then the align command, and then the tangent command, or maybe directly tangent command and the align command.